Hey everybody, welcome back. This one's exciting. So you can probably tell that I lost some of my settings here, which apparently are uh, local to whatever machine they're running on. So we're gonna try to sort that out in a minute here. You know, fix toolbars so I don't forget later because I'm not gonna bore you with that. Uh, I just wanted to do a bit of an update here. I know we're like two days behind on our normal schedule. Uh, there's good reason for that. So let's just go off the sort of the list here that we're gonna of all the stuff we have to chat about before we get started. I did build a new PC. Um, the specs on this are, to my knowledge, assuming that the 7950X 3D is, it seems like the fastest desktop CPU on the market for certain use cases. Um, and there's a 4090 in this, so this is a pretty beefy uh, machine to be sure. And I did take into account Factorio when I built it. Uh, the CPU that I have for anybody who knows who's into that, you know, if you're an enthusiast, you probably know the X3D line of Ryzen chips has a much larger L3 cache, which has been shown in Factorio benchmarks to be one of the biggest determining factors of overall game performance. And what's pr what's pretty cool about that is if we go, and I, why is it F5? There we go. So if we look here at our update loop, uh, we are... So this actually was even faster than it was before. I'm guessing that it's because I'm recording. Uh, I'm going to kill the recording for a second and see if it drops off. Okay, you can't see it because it shoots right back up as soon as I do it. But this actually is hovering in the 0.7 area. So about 700 and change nanoseconds per update loop currently. Which is down from 1.6 to 7 milliseconds that we hovered at. So... Going from my Ryzen 5950X, which certainly was no slouch, with DDR4 to a 7950X 3D with DDR5, and it's not even clocked that fast because of reasons, has pretty much doubled my uh, just absolute performance, which is insane. Like 100% gain on any game is crazy, and that is in the flesh right there what we're seeing. Like it, it is. A, a way faster update loop. Although, in retrospect, I can't remember if I looked at the update loop when I was recording before, but even so, even if I was, we're still at like a 70 to 80% increase for this game, which is, I'm sure, a combination of the improved cache size and the better memory, the newer memory, a DDR5 versus 4. I will say, for any CPU enthusiasts who watch this, that chip is very not overclockable, at least so far. And the BIOSes are very finicky, but this is not a this is not a computer hardware channel, so we're going to move on. Um, so going forward, I should be able to record videos on the regular again. Sorry for the delay. I am not going anywhere. Um, I actually did yesterday get a bit distracted by uh, playing with Kanan Frost a bit on his channel, which I've plugged here before. I'll drop another link to that in the description here uh, for this video. Um, we were playing Avori, and there's a community server there on the Global Gamers uh, Discord, and uh, we had a bunch of fun doing that. So uh, that took away some of my time as well, partially because Avorian was crashing due to memory issues from a bad overclock. So uh, I didn't want to start trying to record Factorio videos until I figured that, which I have. Kind of a side note here about the new PC. If you happen to hear uh, a whining, kind of low, bassy, buzzing noise in the background, there is a bit of coil whine out of one or more of the fans on that PC. And I've done my best to EQ it out, but it's been challenging. It, I really just can't seem to get it out fully. It mostly comes out when I'm talking because I've used a uh, noise filter to try to get rid of it. Um, that should go away in the next one. I think I've figured out how to get rid of that because it mostly seems to be coming through my microphone stand for now. So anyway, if you do hear it, I'd actually be curious to know if you notice. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably only me that noticed, but feel free to leave a comment. So then moving on to the comments, uh, I guess let's take a look at, so Gort had commented, and we actually had an exchange back and forth, that he suspected that I was going to blame him 
for the poor throughput of the balancer on the new stone mine. Balancer in quotation marks because it really doesn't balance much. Um, and so let's just get up there for a second and, and take a look about what's going on here. Uh, I mean, so yeah, it does look a little funky, Gort, here. Let's pull some, uh, let's join these two belts at the end here. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I gotta fix my toolbar really badly. Uh, let's see. So that I can get this to start consuming some stone again. Uh, left two lanes are not moving. Uh, the left two belts are not moving. So let's go take a look at that. Why is that happening? And that's that's entirely right. They're not. So, Gort, I'm not sure why you didn't anticipate this before. Um, you needed to put another balancer right here in order for this to work correctly. Um, not really sure you were thinking on that one, but you know I do appreciate your help nonetheless. So, don't worry about it, buddy. Uh, so then moving on to Christian, uh, Christian had said that basically we can use city blocks to sort of keep the main bus, but start for certain things that especially that we don't have room for. Maybe he didn't say this, but I would extrapolate things like the um, like engines, motors, circuits, stuff like that. You start to build that on a grid, maybe over here or something, and then train it in just like we are up here to kind of run the main bus and i think that that's a wonderful idea christian i, I like that a lot um and that is probably what we're going to do here i think we're going to start moving in that direction with stuff that we have trouble scaling one of the things that comes to mind for that is blue circuits because what i think you want on the belts here are things that aren't really going anywhere else like they have one more stop so like science has one more stop right the research lab motors has a lot of other stops probably could be done externally but um like in the grid rather and i don't have radars over here i thought i put one down i don't know what happened um so i think that's a wonderful idea christian and we are probably going to move toward that great suggestion thank you and then christian's other comment was going to be hard to do basically summarizing it's going to be hard to do new, new factorial comment uh content not comment because it's just been around so long and there's so many people doing stuff that uh just about everything has been built and while i agree that a lot of the low-hanging fruit has been claimed i don't agree that there's nothing new under the sun for a couple of reasons one I see new designs for balancers, especially like more complex balancers going up on Reddit and the forums all the time. Uh, there's new mods coming out all day. The mods are still updating. There is an expansion pack for this game coming out and you haven't gotten to experience the space exploration content yet with yours truly. So this is new content right here. Um, I very much think that there is a lot of you know, opportunity to do stuff that's cool and unique, even if it's just that, hey, we had a different reaction to our railgun or something that other streamers did, or we have a different take on how to lay things out, especially with the organic sort of, I've never played this before type of playthrough that we're doing here. Uh, I really do think that there's a lot of cool stuff to find out and to, to do together. Um, and so, yeah, and I also think that I've learned a lot about how to do these videos since I started uh, recording them in the first place just from going through the motions and when the expansion launches I think we're going to be in a great position to be to have some actual new content about how to do things from the practice of running a channel that I'm gaining here and that we're gaining here um, so yes for now maybe not a ton new to explore but it's still fun for me and you know it looks like some folks get a kick out of it so we're going to keep doing it and with that, we are done with our comment review. And then I have to go back and figure out what we were doing the last time uh, before before <laughs> the PC debacle. And that was an incident. Like, I have had serious issues with my PC lately. Uh, 
But so far, I mean, we haven't crashed yet, so we're actually way ahead of everything that we have been up until this point. Um, it just kind of stinks because the memory is rated for 7200 megahertz and it's running at 4800 megahertz, uh, which is still giving me great numbers and great performance and great benchmarks, but it's just... <laughs> I, I, I suspect either I got a somewhat bad CPU or a... More than likely, I the BIOS needs an update from the motherboard that hasn't been written yet. In any case, I think, and I might have to go back and check the footage here, but I believe that the last thing we were doing, just based on the state of that mine up there, is stone. I believe that we were trying to get some stone going here. Looks like we need a couple power poles. Let's just uh, let's dig right into it. Had one out of power there, one out of power here. Looks like these miners can hit that stone there, so I'm not worried about it. I am full of stone bricks in my inventory. But I think that we got the whole thing covered with, with miners, so that's good. And then... The other thing that I didn't account for here, so this belt and this one, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this, Gort. Uh, actually, no, that's silly. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to pull one off of this because we're going to want a train stop for both uh, stone bricks and for actual stone. So apparently my third mouse button is bound to open inventory, so one second. And indeed my blueprints are even missing, and that's because... Going to settings here, not that, other, you have to enable blueprint library cloud sync, and I had not done that yet, so we are going to go ahead and restart the game. Although I'm afraid that what's about to happen is, is that my blueprint library it's going to get overwritten from, like, this is going to override my clap. I almost kind of feel like we should turn that off. Oh, man. I'm afraid this is going to blow away my blueprints again, because this has happened to me before. Hmm. Sure enough, I enabled blueprint cloud sync, and my blueprints are still gone, which means I'm pretty sure I just blew away my cloud data with my non-existent local blueprint save. However, I have, the, I have the hard drive from my old machine. I'm gonna grab the file off of that, replace it, and hopefully it will be fixed. Alrighty. And they're still gone. Are you kidding? I just restored this file, come on. Okay, so I got this figured out. <laughs> but in so doing, I may or may not have blown away my save that I hadn't made too many changes in because I was just kind of doing the, the intro part of the video, but there was one. We had kind of done some repairs to Gord's design up here, so let's just go back and make sure we put those back. Yeah, see? Really, Gord, you, you just don't want to put this, like, just going into the side here. It just doesn't... What it means is that once this from the right is saturated, it gets priority. Whatever is on the lane already gets priority. So we're just going to tear that down and like that. And there you go, buddy. So anyway, looking back at this, let's go. What are we doing today? So I guess we'll do two train stops, right? One, let's get a let's get a radar up here so that I can see things here. And then, <laughs> Nicholas the Hamstro. I love those names, the way that they, uh, for, I guess, the early access supporters, they, they, they get train stations named after them. They're always so esoteric and quite long. So you can't decide, do I want to put one over here, or, you know what, we'll do it over here. We'll do it like this. There we go. And then... Oh. 
I don't have any train stations on me, do I? What do I need for that? Oh, iron. Uh-oh. Actually, let's do this way, way lower. Actually, that's in the way right there, isn't it? Oh, that's where we're going. I don't want to go past that. Ah, yes. The dreaded marsh. Really? Why? Oh. Okay. So basically, just to kind of review the blue, wait, the blueprint situation here. If you have blueprints and you don't want to lose them, you're switching to a new computer. Before you go to the new machine, make sure you go in here in settings, other, enable blueprint library cloud sync. When you check that box, it should be on the machine that has the blueprints that you want to have. That thing has lost me. Not that I have a ton of blueprints. I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> that advanced, but they still do hurt because those are a pain to set up. And so anyway, let's do nice and basic here. And actually, I wanted to see, do I get extra? Oh, wow. Look at this. We can do so much more now because we have all these extra. So we'll do calculator, module inserter. I bet we're going to want that. Uh... Space Blueprint Converter. That's an interesting one. That is definitely an interesting one. And I, I guess I never realized that there's a cut functionality in this game in addition to copy. I never knew that. Alright, we don't have enough steel chests. So, we did copper. Actually, we didn't finish copper yet, because if I recall, and I think we do have a radar up there. Yeah, we do. Uh, so, we're emptied out on... Yeah, we're going there next. We got to do that. Where's my... Uh... So let's tear all this down. Might as well. We're done with it now. So now... We need to route... We need to put down a new... St oh, we have a station. We need to rename that station. Let's see what the train is up to. Probably has no path. Did I tear down some tracks there? I forget. Oh, no, I tore the train itself down. Okay, so we're good to go here. And we can tear that down. Oh. Did we start doing airframes yet? I thought we did. Yeah, we, we definitely did. But we never hooked it up. 
because we were starving on something, and now we're gonna starve probably on plastic. Uh, let's. We need. We need so many more logistics robots. This is. This is getting out of control. Let's hook all this up. Where's the landfill? Why can I not see it with my eyes? There it is. I guess let's uh, speed that up. And then, of course, we want provider chests, which we will limit. Actually, I kind of wonder if we should direct insert these into a RoboPort. Those should probably not be provider chests. Let's uh, just do them like that. What are you waiting on? Oh, did we not put a... Yeah, we didn't put the other inserter that we need here. Please, why can't it show me where it is? I don't know where it is in here. This seems like such a solvable problem. And we need a lot more logistics. You know what? Well, let's make it. Let's make a higher for both. We're gonna need both for sure. That should be like a 50% increase over what we have already right there. I wonder if there's any mods that let you do a uh, personal logistics network. I think there is. I can't remember. Yeah, I think we did a 100% increase here, actually. Can you please show me... I, and this is just one of my least favorite GUIs when it comes to inventory. The Factorio GU GUI is pretty good overall, but when it comes to inventory, I just have... I really... There's got to be a better one. And I thought I looked, and I couldn't find one. Where is it? Where am I... Li Can I, like, search? See, there's no search in here. I can't even... If I hover that, it doesn't tell me, so I have to go in here and either search or find a logistics robot. And there they are. They're on the right. Okay. Let's go back up. And I know that we could direct insert those robots into robo ports, but it just seems like it's dangerous in terms of consuming things too much early on, so we're going to not do that yet. Alright, let's go ahead and kill some marsh here. I'm trying to think. I wonder what kind of clickbaity uh, title we're going to want for this. I wonder if you should use stack inserters or just blue inserters on... Oh, well, this is going the wrong way anyway. Definitely just blues for inserting, but for unloading trains, I'm not fully clear. I need to learn more about train unloading and how to do it well, because I, I am not good at it. No doubt. All right, and then 
Didn't we already have something like this up here? Let's do this. Right there. So there's one. I have more bots than I remember thinking I had. I mean, I know that we we added a second robo port, but just kind of each one gets 10 and we have 20. Wow. Helps a lot. It's going to help a lot more is when we get back into space and get uh worker robot speed. God, we haven't touched this uh <laughs> we haven't touched this screen in so long. Wow. Oh. I don't know why you did this, Gort. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me if I'm being real. So you need the the input splitter there. I bet that we're mi yeah. See, we're missing it over here too, buddy. Come on. Oh, and there's a telephone pole in the way. I wonder how long until people forget. Like why? I mean, because it's not a telephone pole. It's a power pole. I wonder how long until people kind of forget the etymology of that. Makes me feel old. I don't like it. Uh, so we're stocking up up there for that stuff. And now it's time to start thinking about... Maybe a bigger, better train design here. Got a water pump going there. Makes me not want to do too much here. Let's start tearing this down, make some room. Or we definitely don't need stuff anymore. Not a lot left here, is there? It's always a fun gamble to try to figure out without looking which power poles you can tear down without causing an interruption. And which, uh, which belts for that matter. Okay, so we got that knocked down a bit. I'm kind of thinking we, we fill this in 
and get water from elsewhere. Because where is this going? Da, da, da. Right there. I feel like that could just as easily come from the south and give us way less trouble. And we don't need this anymore. Oh, um, you know. All right. Let's go see how many logistics spots we got sitting waiting for us. Hopefully we got at least like a half a stack. Uh, did I go too far? Oh, we are starving on green circuits. Why? Oh, because we're not trucking copper plates in anymore. Great. But at least we got some logistics spots out of it. So let's go fill that in. Then we'll get that copper train back online because we are... Wait, there's copper right there. What's the issue here? Is it is it stone? <gasps> oh, it's stone. Right. I forgot. We figured that out. So we'll do that first. Um... Let's go drop our logistic spots off. Did I leave some bots behind? Yeah, I did. Right up there. Almost definitely makes it way faster, doesn't it? There we go. Okay. So... Let's, let's start up there, actually. Bring it down. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we can get away with that. Okay, so now we can start landfilling up here, although we should probably hold off on that until we figure out... You know what? I'm, I'm about to, I think, tear this entire thing down. All of this. There's really not much reason for it to exist. We start to think about an actual train station and what that might look like. Uh oh. What can we throw out now? Come on, guys. Wait a minute. Apparently there's still copper ore. <laughs> How did that happen? What's going on here? How does that happen? Really? I thought that we got rid of it all. Well, then we better build that back, huh? Oh my... Oh, man. There's still a lot in there. Come on. Alright, I guess we're back in business, guys. Whatever, we're just gonna... You know...
All right, well, let's at least take down these. And this stuff up here, that's all good. Get rid of that. And we'll just do a simple twofer. Since we only have one lane of this going out anyway. Come on, this is... This is <laughs> get back here. What is going on right now? Oh no, now the satellites... Oh no. Wait, where am I? Wait. Wait. <laughs> what? What? Where? Oh, I'm in the map editor. How do? I, how do I get out of the map editor? I didn't mean to turn on the map. Editor. What's happening right now? Okay. Okay, but I'm still. Okay, there we go. Wait, no. Those those two underground are. No, come back. Weren't there? Oh no. Give me that. Okay, we got. Oh man. All right. So that's going to obviously take some time to get unloaded. And so we have a bit of a pickle forming here. As you can see, we're already partially backed up on copper. And the reason why that's happening is, I mean, there's a lot of reasons. Obviously, we're not using enough copper, but we are not, we don't have any stone. And so because we don't have any stone, we can't make electronic circuits, and so we have a bit of a situation there. We're not consuming copper because we can't make electronic circuits. So I kind of wonder if I don't go and grab... Trash that, trash the scrap. Whoops, not that. We could afford to ditch some rocket fuel for sure. Sand, blah, blah, blah. I feel bad putting the fish away. Whatever, we don't need those fish. Those are the special fish that came off the space platform, but whatever. Oh, how's our steam battery? Let's check that. How much time do. Oh, we're pretty much at full charge. We've got 12 hours left, so we're looking pretty, uh, pretty good right there. So we got room for what looks like 11 stacks of stone bricks. Yep. Interesting, wow. We're not even able to keep all these furnaces saturated here. That's okay. We're gonna have more than one stone mine, that's for sure. Uh, so, uh oh, uh oh, that ain't no good. Why? Why? Uh oh. No light oil. Why come no light oil? Refineries are. We have. One, two, three. Or five refineries running. So that would tell me that either we're out of crude or something. We're definitely not out of crude. Something is stacked up here. It's got to be. Is it petroleum? No, because we. No. Uh oh. Wow. This this design. Oh, we're, well, we're slowly just imploding right now. Because we're out of gas on, like, everything. 
so that pump can't run. I think we're about to just bypass that, honestly. Yeah. Forget this for now. Now, why is this not... Oh, because coal. We're backing up on this. It, there was nothing wrong with that design. The problem is coal. So what we can do is just throw another storage tank or two on that. Uh-oh. I'm not sure if I wanted to do that, but that should give us enough room to... And sure enough, it looks like we're going full tilt here now. Or full tilt-ish. This will be an interesting one to watch. I wonder, can I put... Oh, I can put uh, rocket fuel in these just to get a burst to come through. There we go. Yeah, 12 hours for the CME. Now, we're out of light oil again. Let's go look at the light oil situation. You would think... Okay, now all of these are running non-stop. It looks like the numbers are creeping up here, question mark. Let's uh, let's mortgage our power future here. Okay. Looks like we made it. Well, we'll see. We will see. Let's just give everybody another round of rocket fuel here. Boy, that solid rocket fuel goes pretty long, huh? Looks like we also might have some water complications occurring, but I can't tell. Oh wow, I'm almost out of solid rocket fuel and I hate to grab any of this. It just came to me that this is silly and we can use solar panels, which I might even have some on me, question mark? I do, I only have three. So each one is 60 kilowatts. These draw 50 each. We need 300, we need a couple more solar panels. But I can hook those pumps up to solar panels and during the day they should always run and I can even do like a little set of, uh, let's take a stack of these and a stack of those, let's get the so, I believe the ratio solar panels to accumulators is 25 to 21. And I never came up with a good design that I like. So, we're just going to do whatever. We're going to do 25. We're going to try our best not to hook it up to the existing grid.
And then 21 of these. So that's seven. Oh, we forgot about power poles, whatever. Do I even have a substation yet? I do. What does it take? Advanced circuits, copper cable. So we just need some copper plates, concrete, steel plate. do clear up some room I don't need those filter inserters right now I can always make those later I almost kind of want the steel plates that you guys took out of there uh, inventory is full So that should be a self-sustained little unit here. And then... Like that. <laughs> I love that. It just leaves the uh, fast inserter sitting on the ground there. Uh, but we definitely need to scale this up again. Oh, right. I, no wonder I have no inventory space. I was going to go dump a bunch of stone in these assemblers. He's not running. No. Oh, those aren't hooked up, are they? They would be if I did this. Okay, well, there's some green circuits. Now, wow, we, we have a bunch of different stuff going on right now. We're low on power. Well, not that low on power. I, I don't know what was really consuming there, but kind of want this to play a siren or something when, it, when the accumulators are discharging, because there we go. See how we're doing over here. Looks like the first two boxes of each one of these are full. Time to get those train... Let's do the train stop for stone bricks, because that's what we need more than anything right now. Uh, so we'll call this... Uh, let's do a pickup station, but stone brick. This really shouldn't be over here, because to me it's an intermediate material. 
just give it a train limit of one. I know that limits throughput, but we don't have any waiting areas yet. Okay, so we have stone. Oh, and let's go see our copper situation. Probably need to, let's drop off some more stone brick because we want to chew through enough of that copper. And I think there's a good, a favorable ratio there. So yeah, it's 0 0.2 to 1, 1.5 stone brick to copper, which is good because that means every stack of these will, is like 800 copper plates will eat off the belt which is favorable right now because we want the copper to come off the belt to get used so that these copper chests over here empty out. We're getting there. We're not doing so hot yet. We still got quite a ways to go, but... Actually, the alert wouldn't be when the accumulators discharge, would it? It would be if it was daytime and they didn't discharge, right? That's not even connected. What am I doing? It's good. Oh, God. Okay. We wanted to put... It's almost kind of like it's hard to separate those, isn't it? Uh, do we have any other substations on us there? If we had this one right here, we would want to be... Not a good design on my part. So those can get powered from either one and then, see you almost just kind of want to Alright, so here's my thinking. These substations, oh, I wish it reached just a bit further. Um, one second, let's try this. Like right there, oh, we want it to hit there. Uh, oh no. So you don't need, oh. Is that not good enough right there, really? Okay, so, here's my thinking. Now, the pumps are fully off-grid. They're run by these over here. And, obviously, we're producing much more than we need. Accumulators should be able to run that no problem. And then... If we fully lose power, at least this guy can insert... You know what? I'm almost tempted to simulate a crisis here. Let's do it. Let's kill the whole thing. This copper ore thing, though, I guess I just got to move it like to a, a storehouse or something. Let's do that. 
Concrete, steel plate, concrete, steel plate. Probably way too many stack inserters, but we'll see. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, one more. How's our simulated crisis going? We're starting to run out of fuel on a lot of these. Nah, it's kind of going slower than I'd like it to, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll just let it run out. See if we can come back online correctly. It's almost tempting to run the refiner, like this whole entire array here off of solar power that's completely separate from the network, right? I don't know. In the meantime, so we did our pickup station. All oh, right, because kind of want. And it's not the best time to do a disaster recovery exercise, is it? Let's let's expedite. Not waiting. Inventory is full. Oh. That'll make an excellent little. You can do a little box, like right here. And probably maybe over here. To kind of like reprime it with. And we'll actually take it off the belt so that we can just flip this inserter. We need to Okay. Everybody should be out of power shortly. Uh, let's actually take some for ourselves out of there. Alright, we're coming offline here. Power should be dropping nicely. There we go. Now let's see how able we are to come back online. Now we're completely dead. Now this inserter, you know what? Let's take it so that there's really no buffer and see if we can use this inserter to bring us back online. Because that's what... Alright. Hold on to your butts. So that one fast inserter, but see, these guys don't even have 
enough power. It's almost like what we want to do here. Where is this power even going? Is it like charging accumulators somewhere? Oh, is it charging the batteries here? So, uh, this is, this is painful. I guess we could always do like one of these to prime it, like, and then that kind of, and then we just tear it down immediately because now it's kind of self-sufficient. And now it's, now we can take our buffer off. Although, we did it too soon. This is a uh, an interesting little exercise right here. Kind of works. Maybe if we just set these things to be... Like, if we gave these guys a storage tank and a pump... Maybe that's... I think that's going to be the way to do it. So, if we do a storage tank, like right there and then a pump like right there and of course a power pole and then if we kind of isolate so let's look at the power pole set up here right so you got this little network here goes up to the stone we want that to be on the main network right there so if we bring it around here, uh, actually, kind of want to run this entire thing off of its own power, right? For oopsies like this, although for now that'll be fine. And then kill that one, do this one, kill that one, do this one. Now what is the power draw of these? 2.5 megawatts, we're discharging over here, so we need to do another one of these. I don't have enough substations. Oh, I can make one. Why? So we need 10 megawatts off of that. Is it because of the time of the day it is? Because it... These should not be connected to any other network, should they? I can't even tell what time of the day it is. Oh, we're we're dipping down, right? Because it's it's going into nighttime. So actually, I think I got it. You you want these to be able to run off of either the backup power or the, n the main power so that it can self prime and see these still go at full speed now because we have these guys over here Yeah, I think this is I think this is a good compromise. Now we have the ability to bring this thing back online pretty easily. Alrighty, enough messing with that. Let's see how the copper's doing. Probably need to go Actually no, because we put it in the storehouse, right? Oh, got one side done. All 
All right, we're getting close. Uh, and what we can do... Just to make sure it doesn't back up at all. And look at that, we got a nice big, almost like a copper reserve that I'm tempted to just keep there. Uh, let's go look at the logistics robots production. This doesn't feel a lot like space exploration right now. It feels like planet problems. Where are we going here? Oh, we got a lot. Now we're going to be... Now we're really going to be moving. Okay. So, I think we're pretty confident in this now. Looks like we're doing pretty good. One lane is backed up already. Back to trains. Uh, although, we, let's start to plan it out. We should have enough space to plan it out. We tore down, like, big brain people. We tore down... You know what? Let me just go handcraft some... Uh, some uh, landfill. We tore down the uh, power, the water pump that was there. I wonder if we just don't do it like right here. so that we can completely destroy our output to the train and then forget that we did it. I do think I'm gonna go tear down the other one though. We don't want that one down there leaching anymore. Who's upset? What's going on here? What is this? Eight entities are missing construction robots. Where? I don't see where. Whatever. Yeah. So we don't need this this guy anymore. Less landfill than I thought we had, but okay. Well, let's try to do this selectively. Now, what could we do? So I guess first... Here's cliff explosives. Okay, done. Take those down. And then if we came, kind of would love to circle around in this area here. How are we doing on stone here? Uh, yeah. One more is empty. Two more are empty, rather. So, I mean, for our four trains, this is long enough. This would be enough for a six or maybe even an eight.
Let's think about what we want to do here. Wonder if I can sneak this through. Right up here. Assume we had landfill there. Nope, too far. We can fix that. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is, is that this comes in and it just kind of splits off and then there's unloading stations. The thing is, the, the question is really how fast do we want to be able to unload and how balanced does it need to be? And that really depends on the station, I suppose, right? Because uh, for things like plates, we're going to need very fast unloading. We might even do multiple stations. Concrete, probably not so much, right? The more vertical space I leave myself here... Oh, wait, why are we out of power on this? What? Oh, we're, we're completely out of power again, I guess. Cool. Yeah, go get some of those and then... Okay. So I don't think it's because I think I've severed the base from power. So let's, uh, wait, really though? Because it looks like it connects over through here. What? No, that's why. There we go. Much better. almost empty. Beautiful. And we're all done. So, now we got to think about what we want this to look like here. It's kind of a tricky one, right? It's, it doesn't feel like enough space is the problem, but for starters, I think it'll be enough. Especially if we... that down. Okay. I think it might be time to automate train stations. I think we had intentionally not done that, and we probably should. What is it going to take? Sticks, circuits, plates, steel plates. Sticks, steel plates, circuits, plates. Okay. 
think we started to work on this. I can't remember. Okay. So, there's a little bit of a break there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure exactly... <laughs> I just said exactly twice. Um... For the train unloading, I've been th giving this some more thought, and I think where I've netted out, there's a lot of designs that are pretty efficient. Whoops. Um, that can really get quite a bit of train unloaded very quickly and make like eight fully loaded blue belts and all that. We don't really need that. I mean, as of right now, maybe we will in the future, and I'll, I'll try to do some, uh, I guess, like a, an example of what I'm talking about here. So, <clears throat> let's say at this station here, we wanted to unload a train, right? You could put buffer boxes on both sides, and, of course, stack inserters into them. And then, what I've seen people do, if I understood this correctly, is something like this. And then, let's do a copy. Oh, too far. Oh, because I got the track in the middle. Got it. That's why. Something like this I think I forget exactly how it works and then by doing this they have and they do this on both sides and they effectively get um, I want to say like four blue belts at each side so eight and I mean you can really scale it however you want to but I don't think that I don't think that that's necessary here because the way I was thinking was if you look at our bus the main things that are going to take like four or more belts are plates, plates, and I guess circuits, like green circuits for now. And if we want to scale that up, the, the main thing I don't like about this is that it takes a lot of room. Like, I mean, by the time you get, so if you have everything going together here, and then, it, you know, it comes out, and then th this one comes out, and then there's you know, two more down here, and then this is, of course, flipped, and you got one up there. Um, it just seems pretty space inefficient to me, especially starting out here, where I probably should have left my, myself more room up here. But if we just do one side of it, and we have four cars, we could do something like... Let me try to... So you literally can do just fast inserters here. And and I don't know. You know, I'm very open. I'd love to hear in the comments, like, what folks, ex uh, what folks' experience with this is. You know, maybe I'm way off in the weeds here, and there's just a really easy way to do this. Temporary trash? No. Wait. What? Temporary trash? Uh, I, I don't know what I just did. But so this gives us two belts. And it's quite space efficient because, let's see, the next one, let's see what the train grid is like here. It lines up perfectly, although I'm almost kind of tempted to leave myself one extra track just for, for good measure here. Although that, if I do that that way, it kind of limits us, doesn't it? Eh, let's do one more, just so that we, why not, right? Yeah, so then we could take those two over that way, excuse me, these four batteries of, these four cars worth over to the right, and then we'll do four more over here if we ever go to eights. And then you could, if you were so inclined, I think, 
always stuff another engine onto the back of the car, the back of the last cargo car, and get two dash eight trains, I think. I'm not sure, but anyway, let's start here. Um, you need to just wire that up, right? We're going to be drawn to a close here soon, I think. I know this episode has been a little bit kind of all over the place. Uh, let's do stone bricks first, actually. We need that more than we need anything else, don't we? I don't even know where they go anymore. Right here, I guess. But yeah, a little bit uh, sort of dialed out due to the downtime from... Uh-oh, we can't put a belt through there. downtime from building a new PC and stuff, but we're back. We are back and... As always, I really do appreciate the feedback. Sorry to keep everybody waiting. Uh, I do think we're going to do a kind of a cool video soon with the uh, like a CPU comparison. Maybe we'll run Factorio on my new CPU and then compare how it runs there versus on my smart toaster. Now we only have one lane of bricks, so maybe we just do a balancer here to... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is going to become... Okay, let's get power to it. I mean, that really should be, should be it, right? Go plop down a train, the load up station, give it a... Uh, where is that station? I guess I could do fuel loading at the, uh, you know, where we actually drop off the items, but take care of that later. One, two, three, four. This guy is going to have a station where he's at. Five seconds in activity. We're going to... Well... We'll say time passed. Usually these can, I think, unload in like 60... We'll call it 90 seconds. I've been thinking about trying LTN as well because it seems so much more intuitive over this. I don't know. Like, people say that because of limits, you don't really need LTN. I don't know about all that. If you can just request items, I mean, that, that seems like a big win over the way this works. But I also never wanted to cop out. I always thought that mods might be kind of like, I don't know, no path. Okay, I must have left a piece out. No path. Why? Is it because I didn't signal stuff right? I know I didn't signal over there, right? So I'm going to go deal with that. Let's see, that's green. Or I might not have done something right. Uh, I want to use chain signals over here, I think. Reason being that you really don't want people idling up there at all. You want them to be able to make it uh, all the way up to like here or something. Must have messed something up on the train stop up here or somewhere else I dug up the track. Okay, so that station is named correctly. Oh, there's a problem right there. A problem. Let's see. He's off to the... There he goes. 
Now the next question is if this is good to go. We'll see. One of these days we're going to get back into space, I promise. This thing doesn't go nearly fast enough. Might need to do some circuit logic to keep this train from uh, thrashing back and forth. I'm not sure. Probably do productivity modules in these, honestly. We did put a 90 second condition on that, so thankfully. Uh, let's go ahead and probably just send them now. Just make sure that everything's working right here. Oh, this was some of the power poles that I forgot to place uh, from when we accidentally uh, lost the save. There we go. Not that it really matters. Although I guess we should probably upgrade this all to red belts because we're we're backing up here and we could do more, couldn't we? Uh, we could definitely run a lot more than 15 a sec here. Uh... What if we went up to 30? Probably need a little bit. Well, we have room for the furnaces, so let's do that in a minute here. Yeah, we'll I mean, do it later. Alrighty. Here's some beautiful stone bricks making their way through. Next up, we'll do copper, and then I think we'll call it. Probably time to upgrade the... The belts... <clears throat> all of the belts here to red. Do a copper station, right? Should be easy. Tear this belt down because we're. Whoop. <laughs> what? How did I even manage that? Whatever. So this is completely finished here. Not sure if those are necessary. This might be load bearing power poles. Iron plates and iron sticks. We kind of gave up on this before. So this will be I 
wonder what the difference is between a plate and an ingot. I've noticed that, that there's... Well, I don't really care too much right now, but I am curious. See, this is why setbacks exist right here. Uh-oh. We're almost out of gas. Is this on purpose? Did I did I do that on purpose? That ain't no good. <laughs> I wonder why I did that. Probably some kind of experiment or something. We're hurting on plastic again. Now, now how can that be? Oh, coal, right. I keep... <laughs> that's like the third time this video. I apologize. All right, we'll, we'll take care of that soon. Probably better take care of it real soon, honestly. Should be... Looks like we're pretty full on steam. Little steam battery. And then... I guess... Alrighty, so we're loading up there. Just about all done. The activity should kick in soon. And then this guy will go off and fuel up. Well, destination's full. Ostensibly because the other train is sitting at it, which tells us that we really should just go plop down a second fuel up station.
think we can assume that we're done with this. Let's get some fuel on that belt just to burn the rest of that the way through, I guess. Oh, that was the wrong belt. Looks like. That's, uh... Well, I guess not. It's doing this one. And I don't even know why I did this. This can still drain this. The reason I'm trying to clear this out is because I'm thinking that I can just kind of use this existing belt here. And unload right into that. I know it's still kind of spaghetti-like. Use solid rocket fuel on one of these. You sure can. And then where does this one go? Okay, down here. Probably not the most efficient thing to do, but just clear those belts out, right? Start to kill some of the spaghetti. Okay, this one's almost very near empty. Let's, uh, so we can tear that down. This is a uh, this is a nice feeling to tear this down, and I think that belt right there too that can go now too, can it? Get rid of that. And this is almost empty too, so let's go ahead and... Uh, why am I... there we go. Now, let's go up there with that. And for now, we'll do one of these. It's not great, but it does work. And we can tear this down. Beautiful. All right, so we have a flood of copper plates coming in. I mean, that's just one red belt, but hey, it's off a train, right? We're getting there. We know it scales. Now we can just go build more copper mines with their furnaces on them, and we can just put them on the train network, and we should be good to go. I do think I'm going to look into LTN. Uh, let's start... Making a list for our outro here, things I want to mention. So I think that that really does it. I think that now, you know, we have copper coming in from... We have copper and stone bricks coming in, which were two of our biggest pain points. 
obviously we're going to need to do this with uh, things otherwise as well. You know, iron plates, steel plates, uh, stuff like that. And we'll get into all that. Um, probably want to start pushing to get back into space soon. So that we can get space science going again. So I guess that that brings us to this. Uh, a couple thoughts here. One, I know this was a bit of a slower episode, more scaling, and on top of that, I was a bit rusty because I haven't played this in a few days. Um, that should be the last of it. Computers upgraded. We didn't crash once here, so I think that my settings are well-tuned and, and everything. Feeling good about that. Uh, we'll be getting back to some irregularity here, and maybe we'll even try to go a little bit faster for this week or so. The only thing is, I can't really respond to your comments at the beginning of the video if I start buffering my videos up. Or maybe I can. I thought of a way that maybe I could do that. I guess the next thing is, I'm curious people's thoughts on LTN. It sounds like that could be pretty cool. I don't think that train limits do... Like, they might technically allow you to do it, but being instead of having to go and manage every train schedule, instead just being able to say, like, hey, I don't even know if that's what LTN does, but being able to say, hey, I need copper plates, can you bring them to the station, and, and having that train appear would be pretty cool um, and very easy to scale, I think. Um, if anybody has any opinions on train loading and unloading, I would love to hear them. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Unless you call me a jerk as you as you say it. And in general, I'm also curious, not because I want to know if I am not good at this. I, I know I'm not good at it, but I'm curious. So we're like what? Um we're like 30. We're like 37 hours in now. And I'm curious, do you guys have these sorts of scaling epics where you're like working on scaling for two, three, four hours on end and nothing else. I mean, is that me being slow? Is there something that I'm missing here? Is it because I'm talking too much? I'd really be curious to know. And maybe that's just part of the gameplay loop for people. And, you know, it's harder to make a video out of it. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. It is very nice to be back and hanging out with everybody again. If you enjoyed watching this, please feel free to like and subscribe or join the Discord and or join the Discord. Uh, the link is in the description, and have a great rest of your day. See you, everybody.